Welcome to our second part of our discussion all about uh, photosynthesis. Now we will uh, discuss the second stage which is the Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle also known as the light independent reaction. This is the uh, opposite of light dependent reaction because um, in this process light is no longer needed. This is the process that um, photoautotrophs use to turn carbon dioxide into sugar or glucose. So the main function of the Calvin cycle is to create the glucose which is the energy source of the plants in order for them to grow so photoautotrophs um, it means that um, these organisms create food using light so photo means light autotrophs uh, means organisms that create or that can create food Calvin cycle is fueled by and dependent on ATP and NADPH. Uh, if you still remember, ATP and NADPH are products of light reactions. These carrier molecules are very important for the uh, Calvin cycle because they carry the energy and electrons that are needed to convert one compound to another compound and the Calvin cycle um, takes place in the stroma stroma is the liquid portion of the chloroplast Calvin cycle reactions can be divided into three main stages number one is the carbon fixation number two reduction the number three, regeneration. We will discuss uh, each of the stage. The first stage is the carbon fixation. A carbon dioxide molecule combines with a 5-carbon acceptor molecule, which is the ribulus 1,5-bisphosphate or RUBP. So in the first stage, the RUBP molecule is combined with the carbon dioxide. If you can see here, we have here three molecules of carbon dioxide and three molecules of RUBP. This step makes a 6-carbon compound. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme RUBP carboxylase oxygenase or Rubisco. So, in order for the carbon dioxide and uh, RUBP to unite, the enzyme Rubisco is needed. When we say enzyme, these are protein molecules that hasten the chemical reaction. As a result, a 6-carbon compound formed. Okay. Um, if you notice, the RUBP has um, 5 carbons. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the uh, carbon dioxide has one carbon. So as a result, we got here six carbon compound. One, two, three, four, five, six. Total, we have three molecules of six carbon compound. And uh, this six carbon compound splits into two molecules of a three 
carbon compound named phosphoglyceric acid or 3PGA. So, a total of 6 molecules of 3PGA are formed in the carbon fixation. Next, reduction. Each molecule of 3PGA receives a phosphate group from ATP and it becomes ADP. So we all know that ATP comes from the light reaction. So the job of the ATP is to carry the energy and uh, by releasing the energy, the phosphate is lost and it will become ADP. Then this ADP will go back to the light reaction. Next, the molecules are reduced. This stage gets its name because NADPH donates electrons or reduce a 3 carbon intermediate to make glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or G3P. So the NADPH, we all know that this molecule carries electrons. So it will it will donate electrons to the 3 GPA and uh, while releasing the electrons hydrogen atom is lost converting the 3 PGA into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or G3P and then the NADP like the ADP will go back to the light reaction. So using the energy of um, ATP and the electrons from the NADPH, um, they convert the 3PGA into G3P or glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. This stage gets its name uh, because of the NADPH donates electrons. Um, we all know that when we say reduction, it is the gaining of electrons. So the 3PGA gains electrons. And don't get confused uh, when we say reduction, it is gaining uh, electrons or hydrogen. So it depends on the situation. In this process, uh, the 3PGA gains electrons. Then ADP and NADP return to the light-dependent reactions to be re-energized. So these molecules are just carriers of uh, energy and electrons to convert one compound to another compound. Last stage is the regeneration. Three carbon dioxide molecules um, can produce six G3P molecules. So in the process, um, the three carbon dioxide molecules there will be six G3P molecules can be made. So five plus one. However, um, one G3P exits the cycle, then it is used to make glucose. And the uh, remaining five molecules are needed to create are UBP molecules. In this stage, um, three ATP molecules are needed to convert RUBP molecules. The G3P 
molecules are used to regenerate RUBP in order to create one molecule of glucose um, we need six turns of the uh, Calvin cycle so six turns of Calvin cycle is equal to one molecule of glucose okay so let's sum it up the phases of photosynthesis for the light dependent reaction it takes place in the thylakoid or thylakoid membrane for the calvin cycle or light independent reaction it occurs in the stroma the raw material the raw materials or the reactants for light dependent are light and water however in the light independent the reactants or the raw materials are NADPH and ATP. The products of light dependent reaction NADPH, ATP, and the byproduct oxygen. However, in the Calvin cycle, the product is sugar. The processes involved in the light dependent reaction are photoactivation, photolysis, and photophosphorylation. In the Calvin cycle or light independent, the processes involved are carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration. So, if you have questions, just type in your queries in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.